lying just beneath the fabric of our everyday life is an awe-inspiring world where much of what we think we know about the universe is wrong. Physics allows us to probe the most extreme realms of the cosmos, from black holes to the Big Bang, and finally, to the heart of matter itself. In very recent times, I'd say in, in the past 40 to 60 years, we realized that the universe has a finite time. There was a, a moment when it was condensed into a singularity and the universe was born. Time was zero, space expanded. So in that singularity was contained all of the matter that exists in the universe today. And what physics tries to do is to, to discern how the universe has evolved how the universe behaves, how the world behaves. In physics, we are, uh, concern ourselves with answering key questions, such as, what is the age of the universe? How is the universe expanding? Other questions we can ask ourselves are, how do we treat diseases on a non-invasive level? And these questions we ask through physics and understanding of physics. So although you may not relate it to that, physics plays a role in almost everything we do. You may not realize it, but physics has shaped our world in countless ways, from something as small as the computer chip to much larger contraptions like airplanes. So just to give you an understanding of how important it is and how a critical role it plays in our everyday lives, you look at the simple devices such as your cell phone. Um, more critical devices such as your MRI or your CAT scans, these were developed because of physics experimentation and observation. It's allowed for things like cryogenic storage to happen where we could potentially look at humans being frozen. So although these remain the myth of movies and uh, sci-fi at the moment, the, the possibilities exist for such things to happen. My name is Mzungiz Mtembu. I am a PhD student doing physics at the University of Rosso Natal, Peter Marisbeck campus. I did physics because it's firstly it's interesting. It's, it's, it's one thing that lets you understand the the world around you. My experience in learning at UK ten was so wonderful and because of the, the way the lectures have taught me the environment itself, the, the lecture room, the labs, it gives you that energy, that enthusiasm to okay, what is more to can I can get out of this. The undergraduate curriculum at UKZN is designed to give students a deep conceptual understanding of physics. Physics at UKZN allows you the opportunity to get both the experimental and observational experience together with the appropriate theor theoretical knowledge. We offer degrees from undergraduate, which gives you a BSc in physics. We then allow you to continue with an honors degree in physics and finally MSCs and PhDs. During lectures you will be exposed to the theories of physics, but ultimately you need to go into the laboratory and verify these laws, these theories for yourself. So we have a, a, a strong laboratory program. You spend time in the laboratory taking measurements, performing experiments, so that you can verify for yourself these theoretical constructs. A big question in the South African market currently is about physicists and what jobs do they do? Because there are no jobs particularly earmarked for a physicist. So when you see a job advertisement, you're not going to see uh, we require a physicist. However, the jobs that a physicist does is so varied and often you find that leading the pack in any company is a physicist. We are training our students to be problem solvers so you might not even be learning the specifics of your future career. What we are teaching you is how to be faced with a fresh problem and to have the skills and the confidence to find the solution. To study physics at UKZN, a minimum APS score of 30 points is required with maths, English, life orientation, and either physics, life sciences, or agricultural sciences. Visit our website for more information. Through modern physics, we have finally the true creation story. The Big Bang 13.7 billion years ago this inflation of the universe of space and time to our current stage and to be able to predict where in the future the evolution of the universe will lead us. 
It gives us as a species answers to fundamental existential questions.